Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're here with another day of scoop and it's the $300 buy-in 50k guarantee at Wednesday Storm Trophy event here. Uh, biggest buy-in of this year is going to be playing outside of the main event, so really hoping to make a good run at it and uh, bag a big score as long as a trophy here. Here in the 300 we open King 7 suited, button calls, big line calls, bet the flop, turn 9. So 9x and 3x we're going to do a lot of checking back, if we see a lead we're just going to call here. And then drill the flush on the end, very nice. And then I think at this stack depth we want to be pretty polar. So we're gonna go for a jam and see the full ticket. So h3 here facing the raise off 24 just to call. Flop an ace. So in general, it'll give me a way better card for his range than mine. I might have some aces trap, but obviously not super likely. Now he checks, interesting. I think we're gonna go ahead and check two on the turn and then playing just a call turn, call on your river. Once we just decide to check back here. So Jack 10 comes in, spades come in. We have the ace of spades. I mean, jam would be kind of gross, but he checks and let me see here. I think on this, I'm just gonna be really nitty and check this down. He has seven, eight. Thankfully I was nitty. All right, ace five suited, hijack open, we're gonna jam 18 blinds. Think okay, but not 100% sure. See the call, ace jack, not good. Five on the flop is good though. All right, we get lucky. Get it in bad and get there. We're back to a starting stack. Here, under the gun open in the 300, defend big line 9-8. Uh, bets flop call. And then, let's see, river gonna block here. Into the tank a bit. If you raise, I'm trying to figure out what to do if I have enough value that I can call here if I need to try to turn this into a bluff having a heart. Um, I think we have enough value showdown that we could call here. So it's basically as he checking back like nines on the flop. I don't really think so. Or on the turn, sorry. Once I don't check raise the three on the flop at this stack depth. He could have some hearts here, but we have a heart blocker. So I actually think I'm gonna make a call in this end here. Oh, five on the river. Oh, come on, Jay Drisco. What is that river? All right, so raise ace five suited here, big line defends, 10, six, two, go quarter pot. Flop the nut flush draw. Turn king, gonna bet small again on the turn. Calls, river jack. Uh, I worry most about King 10, Jack 10, but I think we're going to jam this. I know having spades isn't great, but I'm going to go for the bluff jam. Fold. Yes. All right. Get the fold. All right. So button open here. Defend 10, 9. Flop the open ender. And just go check jamming this one. I probably should maybe race small, actually, because, yeah, it, wow, he just flopped the boat. We're basically dead. Oh, uh, we're out. So we open aces. Big blind's got 16 back. Just calls. 8-3-2. Bet flop small. Raises. So I'm just going to play as a call here. Jack turn. I've got 20k back. Jam call. Aces, 9-7 hearts. It's got a big draw on the turn. Fortunately for us, misses. Ace is good. Over here, King-7, we open pre, get called, bet flop. Going to bet the turn. And then nine river, gonna be jamming two fair per pot. Hope they have like a king-queen, king-10 that calls. And you see the fold. So we got cut off open in the 300, opens off 26 blinds. Just gonna flat here with king eight. Flop top pair check. That's just a call. 
turn six. I'm uh, gonna lead small here. And then five river, lead small again. Don't love the hearts come in, they jam. Uh, if this is a five, it's not a heart I might call, but I think with it being a heart, we're just gonna fold. All right, so we open these king button flats. We're gonna check the four, three, three. Check, check, six turn check. And ten of hearts river, we're gonna check river. If they bet here, I might call because they're basically just saying they have a ten or nothing, right? I'm not gonna check the hearts a lot in the turn. Check twice with like sevens, then bet a ten river, I wouldn't think. Or same with like a six. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna probably check call this if they decide to bet. So maybe a bit sticky, but did have a ten. No, that's too bad. Alright, flat here against the open. Middle pair in the gutter, ten, nine, eight. Check, check, two pair on the turn, we're gonna check turn. So that does bring the four liner in. Uh, pretty easy check called the flop, and then on non spade rivers, we're probably gonna have to call against a good opponent. Check here. Probably would turn this into a bluff jam, actually, if he bets now. <laughs> so the board double, it pairs, and we have boat blockers, and I even have a spade blocker, too. So I think we're actually in a bluff jam. So this actually feels like the perfect candidate here. Yes, bluff gets through. Let's go, queen nine jam. Always could be bluff in the best hand too, but actually, like I said, that's like the absolute perfect bluff candidate there. Have a spade, have the boat blockers, and gets through. All right, call the king 10 suited. Flop top pair, king queen two. Check. So, I'm gonna bets. Uh, just gonna be a call here. I'm gonna check raise that these stacked ups quite a bit with hands we want to get in, but like on king and ace high boards, we'll probably do a lot of just calling here. And then three turn, and then at this point, we just call if they jam for pot. All right, king 10, aces. All right, double them up. I mean, they only start with 14 blinds, so not gonna be getting away there, just too bad. All right, defending jack 10 suited here. Check flop, starting about 25 blinds deep. That's decent size, gonna call one. Six turn check, so eight nine comes in. We block queen jack, which is bad, and like ace jack. I'm probably actually just gonna start folding this turn if you guys turn. Eight river. Um, let me see here. Block check nine. All right, we're gonna check here. All right, we're gonna go for it. He doesn't have a nine, I think we're gonna get the fold. Ah, calls has the nine. All right, bluff it off there. Gotta find some bluffs, like having the jack probably the best there. Having the long iron straight blocked. All in for 12 blinds here in the $300 event. Snap rejam behind, that's not good. That is not good. 9-8 kings, yep, not good at all. Diamond. Ah, all right, so we're here for four entries in our biggest bind. That's, that's a big negative, that's a big negative. Pocket twos here in the hijack for 12, gonna be all in, in the $300 event. Calls ace jack flipping. Oh boy, so he's getting expensive except until two on the river. Let's do it. All right, it's about to be on entry five, but we've kept it at four so far. Three hundred dollar event. We got sevens and thirteen blinds. We're all in. Rejam. Sevens jacks. 
Oh my gosh, we five entries for our biggest buy-in today. What a disaster. All right, so we're jamming in about eight blinds here with sevens. In the $300 event, get called at sevens and ace queen. Oh, ace on the flop. Oh man, pain. And we bust literally as late red just closing there. So we get in for five entries today in the 300 and get no cash. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a very unsuccessful tournament session, most part because we had five entries in that $300 buy and it did not cash. So total results today, 18 entries, 2,120 buy-ins, cash is a 520, minus 1,600. I'm hoping to turn this thing around before the end of scoop here. So hope you at least enjoyed today's content, the video, and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.